Autumn is one of my four favorite times of year. There's football, there's the beauty of the leaves changing, there's the scary movies during Halloween, and of course there's the food. Butternut squash with apple is a fall classic, but it's not easy to do well because of the different cook times. Let me show you how we did this. Here I have a butternut squash that's two and a quarter pound. I'm gonna cut the top off and then the bottom. Now I'm gonna peel the thick skin off the squash. Now I'm gonna cut the squash in half. This can be tricky because the squash likes to move around. So I'm gonna take my non-dominant hand and hold it firmly. Take the point of the knife, go right down, use a little leverage, come right down. Then I'm gonna flip the squash around, come right down. I'm using a normal metal kitchen spoon. You wanna take it and get right under the membrane and take the seeds right up. Now we're gonna cut the squash into one inch thick pieces. As you can either use a ruler, or I know that from the tip of my finger, to right about this one, this segment right here is about one inch. So I'm gonna use that as a guide, make a little mark, cut down. Now I have a guide for the rest of the pieces. I'm cutting into one inch thick pieces because it gives the squash a lot of surface area for browning, and those thick pieces are gonna stand up to the roasting. Now you want them about one inch, but more importantly, they should all be the same size for even cooking. Toss the squash with two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and one teaspoon of salt. Just want to finish mixing the squash. You want to spread it out on an even layer on your baking sheet. I'm going to roast the squash for 14 to 16 minutes in a preheated 450 degree oven. You'll notice the rack is at its lowest position, closest to the heating element. That's so when I roast the squash, it's going to caramelize and it's going to help bring out its inherent sweetness. While the squash is roasting, I'm going to prep the other star of this dish, the apple. First, coring the apple. Now the apple is going to bring a little sweet tartness that's going to help accentuate the subtle sweetness of the butternut squash. Cutting it in half and then into half inch wedges. Adding one tablespoon of olive oil. Now you've noticed I didn't peel the apple. The peel is going to help keep the apple together and help it hold its integrity. The squash is ready to come out. The squash is just beginning to brown. You're not going to see any color on the top. I'm going to be adding the apple in any of the spots that are left over. I'm going to roast the squash and the apple eight minutes until the squash is caramelized and the apple is cooked. I'm making a simple vinaigrette that's going to bring the butternut squash and apple flavors together. Here I have three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. I'm going to add one tablespoon sugar, eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to stir that together until the sugar dissolves. The sugar is going to add balance. To that I'm going to add three tablespoons of shallot, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of chopped parsley, and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flake. Just add a little heat. I'm going to stir that until it's combined. Now that the vinaigrette's done, let's check on the oven. It smells amazing in here. Now the way to know the squash is done, I'm going to take a paring knife, I'm going to poke it into the thickest part of the squash. It should go in and out with little to no resistance. If the squash is done, you know the apple is done. And these are perfect. Now I'm going to transfer them to this platter. As you can see, it's nice and caramelized color. The only thing left is to spoon the dressing right over the top. Basically, I have autumn on a platter. Now what I've been waiting for, I'm going to taste some of it. So good. Get that subtle sweetness of the squash, the tart sweetness of the apple. The dressing just brings it all together. If I bring this to someone's house, I'm going to be very popular. To create this great fall treat, remember to stagger the cook time and create a simple vinaigrette that's going to marry the flavors together. So from Cook's Country, roasted butternut squash with apple. Mmm. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make. 
or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>